Hi guys, welcome to another quick video. Today we're going to be cooking some pan-fried sea bass, fresh from the ocean. Um, yeah, I've filleted the sea bass. What size are those steaks? Yeah, nice portions. Um, yeah, so I guess number one, get your pan really hot, get some butter in there. Melt some butter in there. Have it on about medium heat, once that butter's melted. Then we're gonna just push those sea bass, the skins on top of the butter. Now you've gotta be careful with this because you need your spatula to press the meat down because it's gonna try and curl up. So you have to press it straight away, literally within seconds. So let me just flip you around and try and just, um, try and get this on camera. Here we go then, the first one's going on. Oh, look, see, you've got to press it really hard because it tries to, it tries to curl up, you know, like that fish that you get in a Christmas cracker when you put it on your hand, it kind of curls up and tries to insinuate that you are a very saucy person. Right, so now that's settled, we can get on to the next one. Look at the size of these. These are going to be beautiful. Oh, we kind of need two hands on this. One to press the middle down and one to kind of just get the tail and the, the top part down. But I think that has just about done it. Yeah, we're good now. We're good. We're good. Right. So, next ingredients. Get some sea salt on there and some pepper. Season it. Hang on, darling, I've just got to do a video. Right, so some nice fresh sea salt, get that on there. Oh, yeah, don't be shy with your sea salt because when we flip it over, you kind of will fall off naturally. Yeah. Okay, so sea salt. Oh my God, I just spilled it everywhere. That's all good. Pepper, get your pepper. Let's get that seasoning on. Oh, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to put you down for five seconds. One sec. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. So, yeah. Sea salt. Black pepper. Now, oh, good God. Hang on. Quick, close the door, darling. Quick. In here, close the door. Quick. Burning the house down. Right. Yeah, make sure you... I'm going to just open this door. Normally I'd have the fan on, but it makes too much noise. Okay. Now for some magic. Right, in this box of dreams, this is the Dishum Masala Dabba kit. Quality spices for flavoursome dishes. Don't know if you've heard of Dishum. It's kind of like, it's, it's not an Indian restaurant. It's like a restaurant from Bombay. It's Bombay in India. I think it is, but anyway, it's a bit more specialist than your average Indian restaurant. But yeah, they've got a couple in London. One in Shoreditch, one in Covent Garden. Um, it's probably another one around somewhere. But yeah, these it comes with a recipe book as well, but all of these spices are absolutely enchanting. It's seriously, this garam masala, you've probably heard of that one before, but kebab masala. Kebab masala, pepper fry masala and Malabar Masala. This kebab masala is, it just works with everything. I think we're gonna go with that one today. Oh. I think the pan's a bit hot. Let's turn that down a bit. Just check the skin because you just need it crispy. Yeah, I mean, skin protects the meat. It's not, yeah, it's not, I, I like it a bit more crispy than that, but each to their own. Right, let's get, where will I put it? Kebab masala. This stuff is dreamy. And also turmeric, get some turmeric on that. Where's the turmeric? Turmeric, turmeric powder. Howdy turmeric powder. So this is like a superfood. So get turmeric on anything you're cooking, just whack it in. You can't even really taste it that much, so. 
spoon for this. Where's the spoon? There we go. This is going to turn the fish yellow, which again just adds. Oh, it just looks gorgeous. Right. Now this is the kebab masala. You can see that I've, I'm running low on that. But I've seen you can buy it in bulk off of Amazon, so I'm definitely going to be getting some of that online at some point very soon. Yeah, don't be shy with it. Oh, that smells incredible. Right, what else have we got? Garlic infused oil. Pop that on. Give that a drizzle. If you haven't got garlic infused oil, just use normal, maybe olive oil. Um, a bit of garlic paste. Look at the state of that. Right, let's get some garlic paste. I need to get a beer on whilst I'm cooking. Can't do any cooking without a beer. Oh. Okay, we're running low on the garlic paste. Yeah, just get a couple of blobs of that on. I'm gonna get a spoon and kind of smudge it all around. Don't know what the technical term for that is. Rick Stein will probably know. Yeah, a little bit there, that mess. What's up, darling? In a minute, I'm just doing a video. Oh, that smell is ridiculous now. Beautiful garlic. And that kebab masala. Right, I've got a little bit of sea bass actually left over, so I'm just gonna plonk that in. And that'll just take up all the, all the rest of the juices. That can be for the kiddies. A bit of rice with that, lovely. Hang on, darling. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to cut to the end of this video really because little ladies needing some attention. But anyway. Once your skin, once you're happy with how, how crispy your skin is underneath, flip it over, cook it for about another minute, two minutes. Um, you can just see the, the middles need doing still. But I mean, yeah, it'll take about a minute or two once once I've once I'm happy with the crispy bottom. Um, yeah, serve it serve it with let me flip you around. Serve it with a nice um oh, serve it with a nice fresh like tomato salsa. Um, Homemade, of course, just chop up a load of tomatoes, uh, put some spring onions with it if you've got some. Again, some lemon juice, bit of um, oregano. That's what I need to put on this, the last ingredient, actually. Almost forgot. Bit of oregano. Pop a bit of oregano in your salad as well. Um, if you've got um, cucumber, chop that up, really dice it small. Um, and then, yeah, a bit of lettuce, bit of... Um, you know, squeeze a lemon juice over the top. Maybe a side dish of uh, white rice or brown rice if you're really healthy. But yeah, trust me, this is gonna taste good. I'll try and take a picture or, or video the, the end product once I come to um, eating it. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna do doing loads of different takes on, on kind of mackerel fried, um, pan, pan fried mackerel and pan fried um, sea bass because that's what I'm catching at the moment. Um, hopefully we might get some cod at some point and some pollock. But yeah, tune in for the next episode. Thanks guys, see you soon. Right, so I just flipped it over guys just so that you can see how crispy I've got it. I mean, don't don't char it too much. Um, you still want to be able to see the pattern and the colour in the, in the sea bass skin. Um, but yeah, I mean, two minutes with its with a top down or whatever you want to call that and it should be ready to rock and roll but yeah it smells absolutely gorgeous fine dining living by the sea who'd have thought it eh right guys this is the end result don't worry it hasn't been burnt that's just literally a bit of charred seasoning on the top what do you reckon darling yummy no Oh, I think it looks yummy. Anyway, that's time to tuck in, I think. Time to tuck in. Look at the state of that. 
I want to squeeze some lemon over it, but let me just um, taste it without the lemon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, people. This is the one. Dishum, dishum sea bass. That's what I call it. Sea bass. Sea bass? Sea bass. Featuring dishum spices. Enjoy.